Are you suffering from hip groin pain with pelvic floor weakness? Welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a simple exercise routine you can do every single day to help relieve any pain inside of your core muscles, which is your pelvic floor in your lower area, that radiates sometimes on one side of your hip that causes pain on your daily activities. So get your mat ready and join me. Okay, my friends, if you're suffering from hip groin pain, there's a possibility one of your pelvic floor muscles is having some weakness, tightness, or an injury that you did from jumping, running, or from even for women who gave birth that the pelvic floor got weak and causes some fraying inside your one of your hips. Usually, it's a non-dominant side. If you hurt this muscle, this is the obturator internus. The obturator internus is a boomerang-shaped muscle that wraps around inside that goes through your your foramen inside your sciatic notch that's why the sciatic nerve is also gets irritated and then this muscle is an external rotator of your hip that wraps around to your lesser trochanter in the middle part of your inner thigh so if you don't stretch these muscles and lengthen and strengthen that it causes a limping gait after standing for a while or walking i have an obturator internist video that you can try but this is a gentler approach for those who can't tolerate the harder video that i made a few months ago so this is a simple workout you can do you can start on your hands and knees and because pelvic floor muscles is important to engage your core so you inhale through your nose and then you squeeze your belly button in and imagine not to pee to engage your bladder with your breath. So in this position, your hands and knees is already activating your core gently, especially for beginners. So the first exercise we're going to do is just a simple rocking back and forth. If you're having a lot of pain, this is a great way to relieve any pressure inside your pelvic floor. When you rock, you're gently activating those deep muscles. So inhale and exhale with your breath while pulling your belly button in, abdominal bracing. Inhale, exhale. Five more. My recommendation is 10 rocks up to three sets to warm up. The next progression, you're going to open your leg, leveled with your hip. If this is too difficult, you can keep it more back and just rock with your toes external rotated to open your hips more and gently rock back and forth. Inhale and exhale. So I'm focusing on my left side. If you have problem on your right, do it on your right. My recommendation is to do it on both sides so you can release both. If you have one side weakness and pain, it's still okay to do it both so you activate those deep muscles on both sides to balance everything. After 10 times rocking as well, then you're going to gently progress to a 3, three o'clock position or 9 o'clock position. So we started from 5, 3, if you're not flexible yet, it means you're so tight, you can't do this yet. So after 10 times rocking again, then we're going to gently progress to 11 o'clock position as you lengthen more. And you can do this every single day in a simple rocking motion first for beginners on your knees, all fours. And before you go to your five o'clock or at the back side, before you go to the three, o'clock you can do it every single day first in this position before you progress daily you can do it daily as you progress or weekly depends on what feels right you know it's a good pain when it's just a gentle stretch pain and you know it's a bad pain when it's getting worse so stop okay and now after maybe two weeks doing this then you can go to 12 o'clock and rock back and forth as you slowly lengthen and then maybe after a month of doing rock and forth you crisscross your knee if pain stop this is only for those with good flexibility on their knee 
and hip. So I'm rocking back and forth, even though slight motion it releases that deep muscle, stretching it. And after doing that 10 times on both legs, so see, external rotated my leg. Slow and easy. With your breathing, pulling my belly button in. As I open more. And as you get better, then you can do this in both legs all the way up here. It's just a maintenance program for you to keep your pelvic floor muscle stretch in the lengthened position and your obturator internus. Because obturator internus is one of the pelvic floor muscles and hip muscle. So it's a combination muscle that people never realize. And now crisscross. 10 times and the last one to end it is a frog stretch a yoga stretch knees out of the mat feet together as you slowly go down to a child pose frog position and hold this for 30 seconds hold up to three sets and slowly progress to three minutes hold if this is too difficult even 30 seconds you can always start just five seconds hold and that's it i'm hoping you learn a lot about the obturator internus and the pelvic floor muscles as an important adjunct to help heal your back pain, pelvic floor pain, and hip pain. If you love this video and want to learn more about my Pilates Yoga and Physical Therapy, please subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell so you won't miss anything. I will be releasing a six-part video series regarding back pain, so watch out for that. And if you are interested, Please click the link down below and place your name and email address to be part of the early bird waitlist so you are aware when my next video is coming regarding this special course that I'm preparing for each one of you. I'm hoping you learned a lot. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment on my social media or directly here on YouTube, and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. Always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Until next time, bye!